salvaging what they can. Somali shop owners escorted out of Motherwell by police, while the next shop is targeted. It takes five minutes and the shop is cleared out, with some needing help to carry their heavy load. A block down, another shop is broken into. Police arrive, catching the looters in the act. Those who can't run fast enough are caught and arrested. In our business is dying. It's only them who are getting rich. They, they get rich and we get poor. So that's why we are working so. So that's why we enter because we are hungry. People are hungry. A hungry stomach, all a hungry belongs to an angry person. This is where it all started. A 19-year-old man asked to exchange airtime he had bought earlier from the shop. An argument ensued between him and the Somali shopkeeper, who then shot him dead. In retribution, they started looting in the area. Now the foreign, mostly Somali nationals, are seeking refuge, but they were turned away from the Motherwell police station as the police say they can't guarantee their safety. And the police are telling us that we have to take the, what we got here, otherwise they are not responsible. We, and we don't even know where to go now and where to take this stuff. Residents say they are going to continue looting until all foreign nationals have left Port Elizabeth. <laughs> Sandy McCowan, Motherwell. News that moves. ENCA.com.